Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you along to the Boulder County Fairgrounds where they're having an event called the Super Duper Garage Sale. I have never been to it before. Will they have garage sale prices? Um, we shall have to see, but I'm gonna bring you along. Let's head inside, see if we can find any goodies. So let's do some shopping. This is a lot busier than I initially thought it was going to be. So um, it's crowded. Let's see um, if I can get some good video here. What is this? It's like a little metal, maybe a card holder. So I already met up with Colleen from Cookies for Vintage and she found this box of old albums. Um, they're in really poor shape, but we'll take a look and see what price um, they give for these. Okay, the photo album was $25, so I passed. Um, and we've got some $5 little tins. This one is cute, but it doesn't look super old. I don't know. Colleen's right here next to me. Say hi, Colleen. Hi, hi. Um, this doesn't look old to you, does it? Not that old, because look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. No. Yeah. It'd be great for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, that would be cheap for St. Patrick's. That's a good point. I don't know. I'm here for super deals, guys. So I'm going to show you lots of... Oh boy, we have an announcement. Okay, I don't remember where I left off because there was an announcer, but I think I was telling you guys that I was looking for super deals here today because they did call it a garage sale. <laughs> what is it of? Oh, it's of a horse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. The tag is illegible, but it's different. Yeah, it feels it feels like maybe a blend, maybe. I think so. But it's a great subject matter, so we've got a tubbo hankies, two dollars each. Shall we see if there's any holiday in here? Let's peek. Oh, sea bees. All right, I don't see any holiday, so since we just got here, we will keep searching. This place is so busy, you guys. So this booth has interesting things. Um, I'm gonna look around. We've got some claw tongs. Let's see. Let's say nine. Uh, this is a pretty little spoon. The spoon is five. Two up, okay? We've got some minis. This is cute. It's a little mini cloche. Aw, box of miniatures. I wonder if she's selling them separately. I don't know. We'll have to see. Got some little ephemera. Oh, she's grumpy. She's dollar. Be my own Valentine. Aw. I'm digging, I'm digging, looking hard, every woman. Hmm. All right. Oh, what about you, tiny little shoe form? Or no, maybe 
Is this for, I guess it is, it's a baby shoe form. Oh, that's cute. It's five dollars. No, it says dollar table. Oh, well, we'll ask. So we have an adorable little bottle without its stopper, but that could be um, uh, a fun project piece. So I'm gonna add that. Okay, so I'm waiting for Colleen to get out of the dollar booth. Um, and uh, I'm gonna say that I don't know if I'm filming the best. This is very crowded and you have to dig a lot. So I hope that this is going to be a fun video to watch. Oh, look at that. <gasps> I just bought a console bowl, but look at that one. How much is the console? $28. Beautiful handles. The etching. It's so pretty. Yes, thank God. Falconer. That's cool. 40 bucks. Um, I'm not sure about this booth. I don't think I'm going to be finding garage sale prices. Eighteen on the colorful uh, doily tablecloth. Well, that's pretty. That looks Italian or Portugal. No, nope, it says France. Um, six sixty-nine. Sale is this? Let's look at that tin way over there. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Let's look at this. This is pretty. It looks like it has some age. Of course, we love the butterfly. Oh, well, not a ton of age. Three dollars. I like it. got some millinery flowers over here okay so I like I already like this 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 is up my alley let's see she has a marked for two so that's a dollar each yes yes I want the blue I want the blue I want all the blue We've got three dollars each on the old vintage ornaments. I like the bells. This is a good one. It's a great color. Forty on the little horse. We got a nice old chippy frame that's $30. Hmm. I'm not seeing any garage sale stuff for me. It happens, happens. We found some happens. Let's look at the prices. They're not going to be garage sale prices. $40. Yeah, no. That's a bummer. I love this one. They've got 65 on that. Okay. Well, that's pretty. For $4, so it might be a couple things in here I can pick up. We're gonna dig, which is fun. Let's dig. Hmm. Okay. 
Yes, it absolutely does. Oh, that's a fun buckle. Oh, and it's priced accordingly. Oh, Eleanor. We've got a horse. Horse, horse, of course, is $5. Aw, that's cute. Oh, but I do like what looks like the spider webs on the side, so we'll see if we can do some bundling. Because I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> I'm already very close to out of money. like everything I'm seeing though. Some really fun items. That's 10. That's great. That's another Nouveau looking piece. Some wonderful things in here. But they're not garage sale prices, so we're just going to walk away. Let's look at the box. Oh, look at the box with the pipes. $90. Oh, that's pretty great. I like this perfume bottle for $14. That little bottle for 6 is cute, too. But let's read. What does it say? Royal something. Crystal, English. Is this its original stopper? I think it is. Okay, I think we might find the item that I'm gonna spend my last few dollars on. I also really like, I do really like this. Ah! Let's see if they will be take pity on me. Eight. I spent my last fourteen dollars on the two perfume bottles, so we are going to have fun looking. And I love this huge light bulb in this bag. And these bags, I think, are five dollars each. So that's a fun, fun thing to dig through. Our bags of goodies that have been bundled up. There's a little candle. I see a lion knocker. That's very lightweight, so this is uh, a little, probably aluminum with gold paint on it. Probably a towel hook. Six dollars. Oh, look at the little bear! Oh, he's a wind up, or is this a buffalo? No, I think it's a bear. Oh, you are adorable. He doesn't have, oh, he does have a price on him. Let's see. He's 55? So let's say 55. Well, you're cute. I don't have 55, so you must stay here, little bear. There we go. Um, we have the booth that Colleen said the dealer uh, is great to work with. Look at this beautiful Majolica. $25. $25. Bordello Pinheiro used to be sold at places like Williams Sonoma. They're made in Portugal. So that name is an indicator that this is not antique, but still lovely if you want that majolica look and you want to grow a collection uh, but maybe at a thriftier price 
it's very pretty. So we've got this taped off section. This is the $10 section. This is the $5 section. And then over there is a $1 section. So that's the first thing I see. So I found this antique little piece of mercury glass on the dollar table. And we are going to pick that up. Oh, look at the kids under the orange tree. Hmm. Oh, look at the needlepoint pillows. 35 for the cat. Let's look at the rabbits. Rabbits don't have a tag, but we should probably assume they are 35 as well. Got some music magazines. Oh, a half doll. Hello, lady. I can't take you home today, but it's good to see you here. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Well, I love it. 1930s. I love it. She takes a card, guys. <laughs> oh, I didn't know what you were talking about. That's all right. I love it. I love it. I want it. And okay. so we, it, it's not going to lock on its own by accident and then I'll never get in again, right? No, I it's, tried it and there's no way. Okay. I this, think it's great. As long as that moves, it's not Yeah. Hot, so. I love it. These are beautiful Bakelite buttons. $18 for a set of four big ones and a little one. Those are nice. We've got some beautiful black ones for $7. Look at this box. This is Dorothy something. 1903. We love it. $85. Nope, $45. $45. Yep. Oh, it's adorable. I'm starting to liquidate all of my boxes. Oh, I love it. And there's a couple more that are over here, too. And a couple more over Look here. Look at this huge that is pin cushion stuff. one. Yep. I like the chair of babies. The chair of babies. Chair of babies, but this is my favorite. It's just so sweet. saw some copper over here so I am intrigued any chance you take cards because I spent all my cash yes we can take a card yes okay Look at this Victorian wire chair for a doll. Is this not the most precious, precious piece of doll furniture? I mean, yeah, it's it's a little wonky, but we love it. it it's, it's old. I'm sure a lot of little girls and maybe boys have been playing with this beautiful little chair, putting their dollies in there. Oh, yeah, 1920, yeah, really nice face paint too. Ooh, what's this over here? Is this a grape holder? Let's see. This says George Shefford Lee. $450, Sheffield. I think this is to hold your grapes. Look at this. She looks like a little scarecrow. They're calling it a 1930s jester. $25, it's a shelf sitter. 
that's fun. Don't always see that every day. Look, I just had one of these. This one's got its um, combination. I think this is so cool. How much is theirs? So this little box is 125. Um, so definitely too much for me, but I think they're so cool. 45. 45. I really like it. Yeah. That's a nice look It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice and yeah. too. You could put quite a bit in it. Right. Yeah, it's got good depth. I agree. I've got one of those cockerel what are these called? Loop? What is this called again? How to make these? I don't know if that's considered a hook and loop. A hook and loop? That's what I was wondering. A hook and loop. Yes. Thank you. A hook and loop rug. Look at this one. This one I know is Shumai and it's 175. 175. So this is uh, Mexican? Oh, New, Mexico. New, Mexico. New Mexico. New Mexico. Yeah. Ortega weavers from China. There it is. Ortegas. So Chimayo. It's gorgeous color. I love brown. It's pretty though. Yeah. Ninety five on this little guy. This is the other. Okay. That's pretty if you like the more like diluted mm -hmm. colors. Yeah, it's pretty dyes in there. Wow, you just got loads in here. I know, there's a whole bunch of <laughs> stuff in there. <laughs> Look at all these. This is the other Chimaya. This is yeah, a Chimaya one. Oh, okay, yeah, I really like this one's pretty. Yeah, this one's really pretty. Yeah. Yes, I would say that's a table runner. Yeah. That's nice. Pretty cloisonne lamp bases. I love cloisonne. Whether it's antique or newer, I really like it. Now look at these. These are highly unique. 75 for the pair. Uh, very heavy industrial, uh, maybe with a little bit of a gothic edge to it with the quatrefoil on the bottom. Very interesting. They were definitely lamps. <laughs> what do you guys think of these? Homemade piece? Or do you think these are uh, period um, candlestick holders that were converted maybe? I don't know. Look at the watering can right in front of my eyes. Heather, how could you miss this? That is precious. It's heavy too. Oh, wow. Is that 175? Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, these bowls are a beautiful mustardy yellow. 35 on the smaller, 65 on the gigantic one. What's going on here? Someone is upset. These are heavy plaster <laughs> wall decor. <laughs> Look at the etched mirror, you guys. $24. I love this. I love this. 
We'll see if she takes cards, because this is great. I love the stars etched into the border of it, so we'll ask. We shall ask. Look at the birds. Oh my gosh, what is this? What are you? You glorious beaded thing, you. 65. Wow, that is fantastic. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, we are back from the super duper garage sale. And there were some tables that had garage sale prices. There were a few booths that had dollar tables and $5 tables. But let's do a quick recap of the items I brought back. I did get the little tongs and this tiny miniature cloche, which the uh, little vase of flowers has already unglued itself. So I have to fix that but was able to get those together in a little bundle for $8 plus tax. $8.50 is about what it came to. And then Colleen and I found the booth that had a large dollar table. And I picked up this at the dollar table, which it's missing its stopper, but I thought it could be a great base for something, or maybe I will find a stopper to go with it. We'll see where that ends up. I got this adorable baby shoe, shoe form um, on that table. And behind that dollar table, she had a $5 section as well as a hanging rack full of items that were half off. And that's where I found this very nice tapestry. It's not super old, but look at the beautiful bouquet. Um, it has a velvet border, a velvet back. It already has a pocket for a rod to go straight through. So this uh, was such a great price. I'm gonna be able to bring this to a live sale and I think it'd be perfect for Valentine's Day. So this is coming soon. Uh, maybe, maybe tomorrow night. Maybe you won't even see this until after it's come to a sale. I'm not sure you guys, but that was $20 half off, so I picked that up for 10. So that was a really nice piece to uh, be able to get for a resale item. Then I think I moved on to some other booths and I found a booth with uh, half off. So this little tin um, has wear, but loved the butterfly. Actually, I think it goes this way. Does it go this way? Yeah, it goes this way. <laughs> so this was three dollars so the half off it was dollar fifty and then I got six millinery flowers which I know I videoed um, so total at that table was about eight dollars next booth where I bought something um, was toward the back and I noticed these bottles this was $14 and this was $6, but I was able to bundle them together for $14. So am I gonna keep this one? I'm not sure. I really, really like it. Uh, it's made in England. I loved the brass design around the rim. It's just great, great crystal perfume bottle. And then this one, I think I could put in a bundle of something. Um, at one of my live sales. It's a great look, perfect vanity item. I love the design um, and the cuts on it. So like this too. Then we went to the pottery booth. Um, this was a vendor who had a lot of Van Briggle and I recognize him from the Strawberry Antique Festival. And he had this beautiful antique mercury glass I would call it a vase, but it has a hole on the bottom. So I'm not sure what its um, original purpose was exactly, but it's hand painted. And this was on his dollar table. So a uh, perfect item for someone who loves and values pottery. Um, you know, he didn't care much for his beautiful little antique piece of mercury glass. <laughs> So yay, yay that that was uh, a nice little price to be able to take home. And then I found a couple booths that took a credit card because I was out of cash by then. I didn't bring a lot of cash with me. So I did end up paying 
uh, with a credit card for this adorable little leather suitcase briefcase. I loved its small size. I have a few small suitcases and I thought this would uh, definitely be a nice addition. Lots of wear, but it's that yummy, soft, wonderful leather. Um, and the wear just makes it more authentic, gives it more character, um, handles leather. Great little piece for $20. And I'll show you guys the inside, because I don't know. I don't think we showed the inside. Look at how cute. Isn't that great? So, yes. I did break down, pull out the plastic for that. And then I also broke down for the copper molds. Um, I just, I love copper molds and uh, found this beautiful little butterfly and then uh, just like your standard classic. And I got these for $10 each. She gave me a little discount. So yay, I got some more copper molds. All right, so that was everything I brought home. Do I wish I could have brought home that mirror with the etched stars around the border? Yes, I wanted that so bad, um, but the cash wasn't there and it just, you know, they didn't take a card and so I had to walk away. Um, and so now I know, now I know that this garage sale event is worth going to. I can plan ahead for it next year and it'll be a fun time. Well, that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed watching the video today. Until I see all of you again, take care of yourselves, happy thrifting, and bye for now.